Mr. Armstrong, I do realize that when you were on the moon, you had very little time for gazing upwards. But could you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon, as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the earth and the moon. The uh, the Earth is the only visible object other than the Sun that can be seen, although there have been some reports of seeing planets. I myself did not see planets from the surface, but I suspect they might uh, be visible. The Earth is quite beautiful from space uh, and from the Moon. It looks quite small and quite remote, but uh, it's very blue and covered with uh, white lace and of the clouds. and. The continents are clearly seen, although they have very little color from that distance. This was the apex of the space race, kind of the, the final heat going to the moon. And this race was a relay race. Every flight was a leg of the relay. Each flight doing as many new things as they could possibly do in their flight to move us a little farther along the ladder towards success. Which, when it arrived at the fifth flight that, uh, that we three were involved in, most all the work had been done. Most of the tough problems had been solved, and we could approach those with equanimity and confidence. We were a competitor in perhaps the greatest peacetime competition of all time, the space race, USA versus USSR. Like the war, it was expensive. Like a war, each side wanted intelligence on what the other side was doing. And I'll not assert that the space race was a diversion which prevented a war. Nevertheless, it was a diversion. It was intense. It, it did allow both sides to take the high road with the objectives of science and learning and exploration. Eventually, it provided a mechanism for engendering cooperation between adversaries. In that sense, among, other, among others, it was an exceptional national investment for each side. I submit that one of the most important roles of government is to inspire and motivate its citizens, and particularly its young citizens to love to learn, to strive to participate in and contribute to societal progress. And by that measure, NASA will without doubt rank in the top tier of government enterprises. The goal is far more than just going faster and higher and further. Our goal, indeed, our responsibility is to develop new options for future generations. Options in expanding human knowledge, exploration, human settlements, and resource development outside in the universe around us. Our highest and most important hope is that the human race will improve its intelligence its character and its wisdom so that we'll be able to properly evaluate and choose among those options and the many others they will encounter in the years ahead. Did you ever imagine that five years after first going to the moon that we'd abandon the Apollo program? I knew we would have a, a limited life but I must say it, it was a bit shorter than my expectation. I fully expected that by the end of the century we would have achieved substantially more than we actually did. When we lost the competition 
we lost the public will to continue. So we were the final leg of a relay race. And so we, we in the final leg, uh, get the medal. But in all honesty, every one of those previous relay participants deserves it as well or more than the three of us. And so I want to just say that in my heart, it's your medal, you guys, and thanks a lot.